I'm going to try to cover stroke and stance in this section. This is the follow up to the bridge. And this one it'll be where to grip the cue at and how to stroke the ball. I'll use my wife's playing cue. In the portion of the cue, this is the butt section. Here's the wrap and here's the forearm. Normally, what you'll see what you'll hear people say is Four inches away from the top of your wrap is about where you want to grip the ball, grip the cue. Depending on how tall you are, how long your arms are, how big your hands are, it depends on where you want to grip the cue. Find your balance point for you personally and use that. Everybody can say, oh, just grab it four inches. That's just like saying everybody can fit in a Hyundai. So what we'll do is I'm going to use my balance point and just show you how you should hold, approach the shot, get your grip, get your stance, and boom, go from there. Whenever you're approaching your shot, I'll set up a shot here. I set up the 10 to make it in the corner pocket. Now I'll move the 9 ball out of the way so we don't get any inter video interference. I'm going to step up to the ball. I'm going to take a stance, and the way they should do your, they say you should do your stance, do your stance at however comfortable you want to be, but realistically, yes, bending over at the waist is the best way to approach the shot. By bending over at the waist, you can keep your eye on top of the stick like you need it to be. I'm going to do this from the side, and I'll do it facing the camera so you know what I mean. Whenever I approach the shot, here I am from the side. I'm going to bend over at my waist. Boom. Now here I'm too close. So I'll adjust myself, get my bridge, and now I have my ankle. Now I'm going to move in so this can be shot a little different. If I was shooting, I want parallel, boom, boom, boom. You see I'm not moving my shoulder, I'm just moving the, the elbow, the elbow and the arm. You get a nice steady stroke. My eye is directly above the cue. So we're shooting that cue ball. There I am approaching the cue ball. I have my eye directly over the cue. The hinge action on the elbow in the back. Now you maybe see, see me wobble in the cue a little bit because I got a stroke a little further out here. So we'll go with this shot here. I'll walk up, I'll get my line, I'll approach the cue. And if I want to put back spin on the ball, I can. And that's a simple stroke. Now I'll, show, I'll try to show you the stroke from the edge so that you can get a better view of it when you're here. Hinge the elbow. Get your your bridge six to ten inches away from the end of the cue, which is my ball is right there, six to ten inches away. I got a nice steady bridge. I can even adjust myself, get myself comfortable for the shot, make sure my eye is over the line. And when you're holding the butt of the cue, it's like playing golf. You don't grip the whole cue like this. You really only have to grip it with your finger. You can let it ri let your finger ride along there if you want to, use two. If you look at the back, when I'm stroking, I really only use one finger to hold onto the cue. That's tight enough grip. You don't have to hit the ball hard, you want to go for finesse. If you want to use two fingers, by all means go ahead. But just like a golf club, or actually the opposite of a golf club, golf club you're using your back two fingers, Pull cue using your first two forefingers. You're going to get yourself a line, and you'll be able to shoot the ball in. So, with your stroking arm, you want a hinge action on your elbow. Only use your first finger or second finger, so that way you have a little bit of control in your grip. And with your bridge hand, you're controlling the end of the stick. The rest of it is muscle memory and mechanics. Uh, I hope this helps you out on that and like I said with the stance 
keep your legs straight, try to do about a shoulder width apart, but realistically if you bend at the waist you won't have as many back problems. Also keep your dominant eye or your shooting eye, if you shoot a gun or shoot a bow and arrow or shoot whatever, the eye that has the control, put it over the cue and look straight down your shot. If you look straight down your shot, you'll be on target. I hope this helps out.